Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and coming with a good news that I have started a series for microservices with Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. So this series will be helpful both for freshers as well as experienced people. Right? So uh, we'll cover everything in this series. Okay? So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side, right? So this is my channel. If you see here, a lot of other uh, topics and videos are there like Git and Dyer series, Spring Boot, CRUD application, and ZUnit, integration test, and mocks, and lot of other videos as well right so if you are really interested you can explore those videos as well right so let's see uh, in this spring boot and microservices series what we'll gonna cover right so in today's video i will explain you what are the topics and what are the topics in details we'll gonna cover in this entire series right so anyway i will make a very smaller uh, length of that video so that everybody can uh, watch those videos right so let's see uh, in that course content what exactly is there right so uh, if you see here uh, let me have a full screen okay course content so first we're gonna cover monolithic application and what are the disadvantages of monolithic application right so next we'll cover introduction to microservices and what are the advantages we'll get with microservices right so in third we'll cover challenges with microservices right so what are the different kind of challenges we'll face while developing microservices in our day-to-day -day life right then we'll introduce a uh, spring cloud so uh, how the spring cloud will help us to mitigate those challenges whatever we will face in microservices right so this is a introduction to spring cloud we're gonna see then we'll see setting of microservices right so uh, for our entire series we'll set up some two to three uh, basics microservices to understand that microservices concept and we'll uh, we'll implement all those all those spring cloud features in those microservices right so we'll setting up some basic microservices okay then next we're gonna see config server right so what exactly config server and how we're gonna set up that config server everything end to end we're gonna discuss next what we'll see reading configuration files from reading config from not config files sorry it's my bad so reading configuration from config server right so reading configurations from config server okay then next what we're we'll gonna see calling from one microservices to another microservices so uh, what are the different approaches uh, we can use to communicate to microservices we're gonna see then next thing client will be there so what exactly thing client and uh, how we'll use why we'll use where we'll use in details i'll gonna explain with examples then we're gonna explain a uh, client side load balancing using ribbon right so what is uh, load balancing and what is ribbon and how we'll use ribbon in client side load balancing in details we'll gonna see then next we'll discuss why we need service registry what is service registry and why we need service registry uh, in microservices in details with uh, real-time implementation I'll gonna explain okay then implementing a uh, service registry using Eureka server right so in Spring Boot, how we'll use, how we'll develop this 
service registry and how you will write this service registry or implementing we will gonna see in details okay then next implementing eureka client so what is eureka client and uh, how we'll use this one how we'll set up this all these things i'll gonna explain okay then moving to uh, moving to next screen uh, i'll gonna explain communicating microservices using eureka service registry with fink client and ribbon and end to end application i will gonna explain in details right how to communicate to microservices with uh, eureka uh, eureka service registry or eureka server and uh, with fink client and ribbon end to end i will gonna explain okay then moving to next if you'll see what is api gateway and why we need api gateway in microservices right i will like i'll gonna explain uh the next setting up zool api gateway for our microservices so i will i will explain how to set up a zool api gateway for our microservices right uh, then moving to next one implementing filters using zool api gateway so some uh, sample application or you can say uh, sample uses of zool api gateway i will explain you how to filter those requests using zool api gateway this is completely a complete program i will gonna explain with real time example or how we will use zool api gateway then coming into next one let's say distributed tra uh, tracing introductions what exactly distributed uh, tracing and why we need in uh, this uh, microservices world uh, those details i will gonna explain right so next how we will how we will use distributed tracing in microservices using spring cloud sloth right so the distributed tracing how we'll do in in microservices using spring cloud sloth i will gonna explain in details okay uh, then coming into next is a distributed tracing using zipkin right so using zipkin we can uh, we can analyze those uh, logs uh, i will gonna explain in details how we'll do those stuffs right it's a distributed tracing up to this we have uh, in this 20 line number 20 if you'll see we have covered uh, most of the uh, things then i will gonna explain docker with microservices and docker with kubernetes with microservices right so the most of the same thing what are the up to up to 20 right up to this 20 whatever we have discussed the same thing we'll gonna explain in docker with microservices right the microservices will develop with docker uh then last but not the least docker kubernetes with microservices right so i will gonna explain in details those stuffs right so hope you got a crystal clear picture what we'll gonna cover this uh, cover in this series so uh, yes so in the next in the next lecture we'll gonna uh, we'll gonna start monolithic application and its disadvantage right so thank you for watching please have some comment in the comment section if and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so thank you for watching have a nice day